Hello, dear friend. I'm Sarah, a writer based in Portugal, and for me, this is where the magic happens. This is my creative space. You may or may not have noticed, from my wall mostly, that my writing corner is in my kitchen. There are a few reasons for this, the most important one being that it's the brightest and warmest room in my apartment. At first it bothered me that I didn't have a room of my own, or even just a desk of my own to work and write in, but I think I've managed to make the most out of what I have, and I've come to really love spending time here. So today I'll be giving you a tour of my desk, together with some tips on how to turn any small space into a home office you'll enjoy working in. 1. Know your goals for the space. When I started this channel, I lived in China and my home office was of my own design. It was the coziest, most inviting place in the world at the time. So, when I first arrived in Portugal, it was important to me that my new workspace invoked the same feeling as my old one. I knew I wanted good lighting, enough space to keep my books nearby and to have a place for everything. 2. Know your budget and reuse what you can. Since I spent a lot of money in the moving process, when I arrived I tried to save up on everything I could, which is why, instead of a desk, I work on a kitchen table that came with the apartment. Mm, correction, I work on half of a table. My husband works on the other side. I placed a cute towel over it to say, this is my side, and started decorating. Three, keep only what makes you happy. To me, making sure that everything has a place is key to keeping my desk organized and inviting. Since I'm working with a small space, I invested in this laptop support, which creates room for my keyboard and trackpad when I'm using my notebooks, and also gives me extra storage for my most used tech gear, as well as my note-taking tools and journal. On the left side, I keep my intuitive writing notebooks, where I write snippets for different projects of mine. Because I've been moving from country to country since university, I used to only buy ebooks and audiobooks, so I've only just started my physical collection when I arrived in Portugal last year. I'm taking it slow to make sure I read every book in my collection. Another mindful purchase I made for this space is my lamp, which I like to use in the evening or whenever I rise before the sun. 
My favorite part of this lamp is the bulb, which is a smart light that adapts to my sensitive eyes so I can make it as dim as I want. And usually I want it pretty dim. Then I have this little space for my notebooks, which I use both for work and writing. On the window, I keep old journals and a few more books, as well as a tin with pencils and pens. So, I've been delaying the filming of this video because my idea was to get a bookcase for this space, I think it would make my writing corner so much cozier, but after my trip earlier this year, I decided to start a no spend challenge, so there will be no new additions anytime soon. I'm okay with that, I'm really grateful for everything that I already have and I make it work. Alright, and that is it! I hope you got some ideas on how to make the most of your small space and create a home office that makes you feel comfortable and inspired. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!